The Patterson Police Department is now under New Jersey state control. The state attorney general made the surprising move after a high-profile police shooting earlier this month and years of police misconduct allegations. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook spoke with the mayor about what this takeover means moving forward for city residents. It looks like business as usual here at the Patterson Police Department, where the state has now taken over. A stunning announcement made Monday after years of what the New Jersey Attorney General has said to be a troubled police department. This is the state of New Jersey coming in to provide the support that this community needs, to provide the resources that this community needs, and to provide the leadership that this community needs. Needs that city and state officials say weren't always met, such as aiding in a person having a mental health crisis. The Attorney General, if he wants to come in and help build on the progress we've made within the police department, we welcome that. The controversial move. All I want is justice for my son. Comes just weeks after Melissa Carter's son, Najee Seabrooks, was shot and killed by Patterson police. The anti violence activist had dialed 911 for himself while experiencing a mental health crisis. The mayor says his team is currently reviewing the AG's plan and timeline and will build on the changes that are being rolled out. The attorney general says he will revise the statewide use of force policy to include protocols for people who are barricaded, as well as bring what's called the Arrive Together program to Patterson. That initiative pairs mental health professionals with plainclothes officers to respond to certain mental health calls. This has been going on for a long time. It should have been nipped in the bud way before Mayor Sarah got in, in, in office. It's unfortunate that uh, the attorney general obviously found problems that are wrong. While the current police chief will remain with the department but no longer lead, we've learned that the new police chief, Issa Abbasi, will be stepping in this May. He once worked for the NYPD and is credited with building relationships on Staten Island following the death of Eric Garner. Reporting here in Patterson, New Jersey, Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News.